A memorial is growing at the place where a man on a bicycle was hit and killed last night by a Jacksonville police car. His friends remember him for his singing voice and sense of humor. He keep you laughing all day now. You come up here, you're going to laugh because he's going to tell jokes. The police officer who struck the bike rider has been put on leave, which is standard procedure. We first told you about the accident last night as breaking news during the 10 o'clock news. The collision was on Moncrief Road near Sycamore Street in northwest Jacksonville. Police say the officer was responding to a low-priority call when he tried to avoid the rider, but hit him after he changed lanes. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell has been speaking with friends of the man and joins us live near the scene. Elizabeth? Well, JSO hasn't yet released the name of this man, but a family member just stopped by and tells me that his name is Derek Woolbright and that this is very, very difficult for their family. Now, I am right by where it happened. You can still see some police tape wrapped around this pole, and you can see the flowers that you mentioned, a memorial that's here. And I'm told by his friends that he worked just about a block up. You can see part of a, a little convenience store with a red roof. I'm told that's where he worked. Not far from where the crash happened, they say he was a hard worker and that they will miss his infectious laugh. And we walked over there and looked, and he was laying in the road behind the car. He was balled up. He was dead. It's going to be hard for Terrence Littles to forget what he saw here last night. His co-worker and friend, who he says goes by dirt, laying dead on Moncrief Road. When I asked Little how he's holding up, he said it's hard. He keep you laughing all day now. You come up here, you're going to laugh because he's going to tell jokes, sing songs all day. He sang any, any song you name, he can sing it. Yeah, he's a good singer. <laughs> Another friend, Ronald Norris, says there used to be a caution light at this intersection until about a year and a half ago when a crash took it down and he says it never got replaced. After I called the Florida Department of Transportation, it came out to take pictures of where the light once stood to send to its engineers and hopefully to learn why the light was never replaced. Norris hopes this road can be made safer so he doesn't have to lose another friend. Since, since that light been down and before that light was up, we done had about, I done seen about four people get hit by bicycles right here. And we have a whole bunch of kids. They come through the pal, you know, and they're going to school and stuff. So the pole that you're looking at is one that that gentleman was talking about, and you can possibly tell from how far away we are from it, about a block, that it is dented. Now, FDOT tells me um, they will give me an update as soon as they have one. We're also working to get the police report from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, which hopefully will provide us with more information. That family member who just told me uh, his name moments ago also says that they are planning to hold tonight at 7 o'clock a vigil here at the scene uh, in his honor and memory. Reporting live from the North side. Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. Elizabeth, any word at this point whether speed could have been a factor in the accident? So several people that I've talked to here in the area, including some of those friends and co-workers, say that they believe that the officer was speeding. They say they see speeders on this road all the time. But when we were briefed by the sheriff's office last night, we were told that that officer was following all traffic guidelines. So right now, again, we are just waiting for that report to hopefully get more information. Elizabeth Campbell reporting to us live. Thank you, Elizabeth.